All right, guys, we got our first catfish. It's a little teensy weensy one. He's talking. Bro, he's talking trash though. Ooh, all right, we're gonna have to let this guy go. He's kind of mean. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> Look, me got air. <laughs> what is going on, guys? So we were fortunate enough to make it down here to a river and fish for catfish this evening. Gonna stay here till morning. So yeah, we got we got our rod set out. We're gonna be fishing during the night too. So once it gets dark, they'll still be out there. We have bells on them. So in case something takes it and we don't see it, we'll hear it. We'll have a good fire going with all that wood. Make some s'mores, some, some hot dogs. Chill for the night. So far we've caught one one catfish. It was tiny, it was like a little little guy. And we're, we're getting takes, we're getting bites. Like we'll, we're, we'll hear the bells go off. We'll come up to the rod and then they'll disappear. But yeah, there are some big catfish in here. There's also flatheads. A flathead is this guy's goal. I don't really expect them, but... Yeah, we don't expect a flathead, but hey, anything can happen. Got a big piece of worm on here for a big catfish. Hopefully, the big caddies will want to come out and play, so. <laughs> Trying to catfish fish here and we're catching bass. Everything else. Okay. Eric. Hey, yep, 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 yep. Something small, I don't think it's a catfish. Oh. That might have been a cat. That might have been it. Got him. Big? No. No. This could be big, man. Shout, uh, it's tiny. Yeah, it's a tiny catfish. Oh my goodness. Are these the guys that have been playing with us? Guys, there are tiny catfish in here. So guys, you gotta be careful with these channels. They have a, yeah, sometimes they'll have a barb coming from their top dorsal fin. My bud back there, Matthew, has got stung by one. Rate the pain. It was bad. Die. You do not want to get pricked by that barb. Get a little release on him. There you go. Tell your mama to come out and bite. Something's happening around here. Dude, something small. I think it's a bass or something playing with my worm. Yeah. No, I could see. Like it takes it and then it goes, it's like really fast taps. It's like, hmm. I, have a, I have a suspicion something small is playing with this. Yo, that's what we were waiting for, bro. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh it's big. It's big, yo. It's big cactus. Oh, he's running. Oh, yeah, boys. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if he'll fit in this net right here. I will. I will. <laughs> At least the head. That's not it's, huge. It's not huge, but it's good size. I think it's a keeper. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a keeper, bro. That's small enough to where I'm going to be a few back to <laughs> Ah, boy. Yeah, look at that. It's all the way down there. Gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. You're <laughs> Rip. Okay. Look at that. Not sure how big he is. I wish we had a scale. But look at that. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Give me some. Ah, it's biting me. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Jeez. All right, guys. Well, uh, he's got dinner now. Let's go. Let's see if we can get another one even bigger. Biggest yep. one we've pulled out of here was 28 inches. Let's see if yeah, we can top that inches. or even go over that. Yep. This one, 22? 22, yeah, I'd say around there. And that 28 inch, we caught him on a worm. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> nothing crazy with, you know, catfish bait, like chicken liver, big fat steaks. Yeah, I don't know why they don't like that stuff here. Like we tried chicken liver here before. All right, guys, one in the bag. Let's go. Okay, guys, I got a big piece of shrimp on the hook right there. 
See if this catches anything. You guys, I just got hit hard on this one. Got him. Yeah. Yeah. He's not big. Small. No shrimp. Another small baby catfish. It's not what I'm looking for. Guys, check it out. Small channel catfish. They grow like 10 times this big out here. And that's what we're trying to catch. Oh. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Oh, that was my shot. Is that worm or what worm? Worm. Worm? Yeah. Well, we're back. We got contact. We got, it's not huge, but we got contact. Man, let's go. Guys, it's so windy out here. I wouldn't see how they would bite in this wind. Like our rods are like messing around with the wind, so I can't see if I'm getting a bite or not. Next thing I know, I look over and I see my rod just like hanging right here. Yo, let me give, let me give. My rod was literally like this going in and he got snagged up and luckily he didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Jeez, bro, that was crazy. <laughs> uh, why you always drop the fish, bro? Bro, I'm trying to get caught up. Woo-wee! Ah, stop! <laughs> so guys, it's getting really windy out here. We're gonna bring in our rods and wait out this wind. So we're hoping that it calms down when it gets dark. I caught a fish in this weather, so that's crazy. But, uh. Yeah, guys, this is crazy. We're gonna chill right now, wait this wind off, and then we'll uh, resume our fishing. So, guys, uh, we sat in the truck for like, what, an hour and a half? Yeah. Hour and a half, about two hours trying to uh, wait the wind out, but it doesn't seem like the wind's gonna stop anytime soon, so we're uh, heading up to a spot we where there hide. we can hide from the wind. Wake up tomorrow and see what tomorrow has. Hopefully no wind. Yeah, we're hoping for no wind, but this was a, this was a bust, so. We caught two catfish. Yeah, Couple I'd like fish. to fish in the night too, but. Uh, be, yeah, we, we could have caught like eight more catfish, at least. There's a boat out there in this wind. What is going on guys? It is morning. Um, it's already like, it's like 8.30 right now. We were hoping to wake up to calm weather, no wind, but as you can tell, this is uh, it's still as crazy as it was yesterday afternoon. Uh, I don't know, we'll be driving around, we'll see if we can find any spots to fish. If not, then we might as well just call it because this wind is just too crazy for a uh, for a fishing trip. We had to uh, we had to drive into a campground out here because the spot we were supposed to originally camp at was just really really windy and it was not doable. So the food that we were supposed to eat yesterday at night, supposed to eat hot dogs and s'mores, but because of the wind, that was not possible. So we're gonna eat all that this morning. Hot dogs for breakfast, can't get better than that. Frosted flakes.
Guys, you do not understand the struggle we went through just to get this fire going. This wind is just... It's literally... It's easier to make fire in green. Alright guys, so we came back to our spot. It seems to be calm right now, but the wind could pick up, potentially. We'll give it about like 20 minutes or so. No. no. Alright. Maybe we should stay here a little longer than 20 minutes. Uh, that was like five. Not even. Oh, come on. Insane hit field. Yeah? Yeah. Alright guys, so here's the setup we're using. We're just using the maybe like a half ounce weight. Then we got our swivel. And from that we got, I got 10 pound test line going down to a hook. And we're using pretty good sized hooks because we're fishing for catfish. And uh, yeah, you just put a worm or uh, anything that the uh, catfish will uh, smell or see. Line, hits it again. I set the hook nuts. I'm not getting any bites yet. I haven't had a single hit. This guy has hits on both his rods. Yep. No. Got him, boys. Feels small. Man. I get annihilated while it's in my hand. That's so good. Yep. This little caddy's playing with us, dude. There you go. Bites, but we just couldn't get a hookup. It wasn't too bad. At least we caught some keeper catfish. So. 